given what has happened over the past few years, there was a lot of change in the world itself and the businesses that survived, they had to adapt. And the ones that didn't, um, sadly, they probably were not in business anymore. So we just wanted to build a platform that would help them recover from the difficult times they faced. Just like the food service industry doesn't stop, we got right back into it, virtually across North America and beyond. Good morning, everybody. And let me start by welcoming the Food Foundry Cohort 3 to the uh, Gordon Food Service family. This is an exciting day. Once upon a time, 125 years ago, Gordon Food Service began as a startup company. And so it's in our DNA to continue to innovate and evolve as a business. Cheers. Cheers. Our customers have had more challenges than ever before. And the Food Foundry was actually built for this moment to bring new solutions to customers at an accelerated rate to solve their greatest challenges. These startups are addressing those challenges. Yeah, so Matt and I are, are from Connecticut. I uh, drove from Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm from. Our customers are in Minneapolis, and so it's cool to be a part of that hybrid experience. Tap into my energy, people. If there's something you need this week, just hit me up, um, and I will help you make things happen. The food and beverage industry right now is looking for alternatives and are experimenting with different tools, and it really is a great time to be in the technology space around the largest industry in the world. There's so many people that you have access to, whether that's you're looking for investor help, whether you're looking for you know, sales help, UI, UX design, engineering help. You name it, there's gonna be somebody that they can introduce you to that will help you out. So with that, maybe I pass it off to Chris um, to do his introduction. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Taryn is my, uh, my mentee in this corner, which I'm so excited about because uh, it's there's they're, they're so wet clay right now. We see things you know starting to open up. We kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. Coming out of a pandemic lockdown, all, all these experiences are, are like new again. We had friends in town last night and ate out for the first time in the restaurant um, oh. indoors was lovely. I'm actually standing in the real relish kitchen for those of you. It's not it's not a fake background. I'm really here. <laughs> um it's really neat to be here. It's July. I can't believe that we're finally back in person. It feels surreal. And it says a lot that these teams were willing to make the effort to travel across the nation. Hi. Hey, hey Hi. welcome. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you doing? What's it like working out of the office? It's, it's amazing. It's everything you imagine and more. You're making me jealous. Being a country boy, once I get my bearings, it's like, man, I kind of like it. It has a good vibe and energy. The Midwest is just a great geography for the food and beverage industry. We got to ride the blue line down, the, the full um, scenery of the city. There are restaurants everywhere. I don't know, there's like an energy when you're inside the office. It's different than just sitting at, sitting at home through Zoom. It's kind of surreal just because we met them virtually at first, you know, and yeah. but it, it feels like we haven't missed a beat. They're all just really nice people and leading up to demo day, we'll all have the same set of jitters, the same sense of nervousness. Hopefully nothing crazy happens with the pandemic. So the big question is, what is the food service industry going to look like in the future? And that's why this accelerator program is so important. The plus side is it's not March 2020, right? It's, it's yeah. September 2021. Like we've been there, done that. We have flexed that resiliency muscle, I think, a little bit. If you get through this, you, you, you get through anything. I'm, I'm convinced of that. I am optimistic that the food service industry is gonna come back better and stronger than ever. You guys were excited to see your pitches. It's kind of almost as excited to pitch. Have a tough <laughs> day, you got it. Startup life can be lonely, and you need people who are gonna be cheerleaders. And Relish Works, CFS, they give you that feel. Working alongside inspiring founders like you all, it truly is like the coolest. There's a community here that we didn't have back at home. So yeah, it feels awesome to be a part of it. I've been doing this for a while, but this is the first time that I've been like, I, I really have support. So, so thank you. It makes you feel like you're not, it's not you against the world. Absolutely. It's impressive that you can broadcast from the moon too, Mom. <laughs>